Okay, this is my next phase of what I'm going to do for my recluse spider bite. And it's two cups of Epsom salts. And I'm going to start out with the water hot. So that I can dissolve the Epsom salts well. Got some poultice going here. I soaked in the Epsom salts uh, water in the tub for a good long time. So now I have got uh, activated charcoal in there and I have ground flax seeds and I have water. So uh, I've mixed it up and I've got it to the consistency. If you get too much water in, which I've got about a half a cup of water, and if you get too much, you can always add more activated charcoal and more of the flax seeds, and see how that's gelatinous. It's uh, kind of like um, jelly, and that's the way I want it. And I come up with the idea of using my old <laughs> pads. Um, I knew eventually I'd find a use for them. I don't even need to take the back off of them. And so I'm just going to take and spread this on the pads. And this is going to be the poultice for my venom, venom, venomous, however you say that, poisonous recluse spider bite. So there is the way I'm going to do this and it's probably a little too much if it's too much just dump it over onto the other and whatever you can use if you want to use a, a clean white rag preferably white um, rather than these um, pads my grandmother used to use these pads in her shoes I got a story to tell about that one but this is what she used in her shoes uh, to make her shoes more comfortable. So there's multi-uses for these. So don't throw them away. Eventually you'll use them for something. So now what I'm going to do is put this on. And then I'm going to put um, saran wrap over top. And then tape it on with tape. And I'm going to leave this poultice on the rest of the day and night. He's got me all doctored up with my pads of old time ago. And I'm all happy about my new poultice. In case people don't know what pads are, it's Kotex. <laughs> Last night was the first night with the poultice, uh, the activated charcoal poultice. And so in order to keep on the bandage, I have this spandex type uh, this, it's loose spandex type um, shorts. So I'm going to show you the way that we did this, um, which is, it need, we need to do a better job today because when you put this poultice on, you want to uh, have the plastic wrap where it's sealed, where it's keeping the poultice moist and there's too many gaps in this so uh, but I can see the redness has not gone much past the area it's the same so it didn't keep spreading anymore so I'm going to go ahead and get this off and then I'll show you the results okay guys this is how it looks uh, the poultice bandage is off of there and um, I think that it looks lighter I think this part right here looks lighter um, this part up here uh, looks more red. I don't think it's spread anymore because it was really spreading toward the front and toward the back of my thigh area. Uh, this time I used two old washcloths and um, saran wrap uh, all the way around my leg twice. And this is sports tape, a stretchy sports, sta sports tape. Um, and you want to put it on loose, you, you know, you don't want it tight where it's cutting off circulation. That would be bad news. So then I put the poultice on, spread it out on the washcloths. So the um, sore, the bite, 
uh, has spread, uh, it just keeps spreading. Uh, but after putting the poultice on last night for the first time, this uh, activated charcoal, it didn't spread any further that I could see. So that's really good news. Today is September 28th, and I, um, the second day, which was yesterday, uh, I used the, pult the poultice again uh, with the charcoal flaxseed and water, and then I left it on all day today too, and it really feels better. And there's areas, like through here, it's not as red, it's not as painful to the touch, it doesn't feel as hot to the touch. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the poultice, uh, which is the flax seeds, and then on the next batch, I'm going to use chia seeds. Basically, it's just like you're spreading out uh, some uh, jelly on a piece of bread um, with this poultice. So uh, you just spread it out like that. I'm getting. It. and I'm going to continue with the activated poultice. It feels much better. It, it's really soothing. You going to say anything? No, just a picture. <laughs> so, um, I'm probably going to put another poultice on this tonight. And uh, it's looking a lot better. It doesn't hurt like it did. It's not as red. So I think the poultice is working well.